Hello and welcome to Edstrads. In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick review of this Aperture Ameren video light or flashlight. So obviously this is a LED ring light, as you see here. Um, the reason why I bought this is to light up the subjects close to the camera lens. So when I have a camera lens, I can mount this onto the lens itself uh, via inexpensive adapters that are already included, or you can buy some step up ring adapters from eBay as well, about which I'm going to talk a bit later. And basically, yeah, light up your subject. Um, or you can use as um, additional light. Um, for instance, I have uh, direct sunlight coming from my left, but I have nothing coming from directly from camera maybe, or, or from this side here. And as you see here, I have shadows. If you want to light up this, this space here, I could use something like that. Simply, I bought it to experiment because it's not too expensive and it's easy to get. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, you can get them on eBay. I'm pretty sure you can get them on Aperture website as well. So I thought it's worth a shot and it's a great product and I'm gonna talk a little bit about it here in this video. So included, you have a bunch of um, leaflets here. Some of them leaflets, some of them instructions and warranty information. I'm not gonna look into that more. Um, the way this light works is basically you can either mount it like so on the top of your camera body. So this is the hot shoe or cold shoe mount. Um, and also you can remove this unit here. So there, there are two clips on each, each on each side of the ring, ring light and you remove it like so. As you see, you have two points here where you can secure this um, either like that or at 45 degree angle. And it would, it would matter um, in this case because this ring light allows to light up half of it. So either one or the other half or, or just use it as a full light that I'm gonna show you in a second. But anyway, if you're mounting it on your camera lens, there are plenty of adapters here included already. So you have a 49, 52, 55, 58 millimeter adapter. And also you have 62, 67, 72 and 77 millimeter adapter for your camera lens. If you're not sure, have a look at your manufacturer specification. For instance, I have these Canon FD lenses, which are great lenses and um, I'm using them off, uh, on the Panasonic G7, which is micro four thirds camera. And these particular lenses would use 52 millimeter filters. And as you see, simply screws on on the lens like so. And when I mount um, it on the camera body, I can just take this thing here, press them in and release. And I can also rotate around, which actually is quite important. I'm gonna show you why. So I'm gonna take that off just for a second. First things first, it does take four AA batteries um, on this side here. So if I open it up, there's four AA batteries that I already put in. Now. It doesn't come with AA batteries, so you have to buy um, or use your own basically. And the way to operate it is you have a wheel here, which um, you can use for intensity. So here you can see the ring light lit up and for in intensity, I keep dialing it up and that's a full intensity. Doesn't seem like much because it isn't. And especially since I have a direct day daylight coming from my left, but it's enough. And as you see, just like most LEDs, once you look at it from the side, it reduced the brightness quite a bit, which is fine. Um, so yeah, this is to reduce, increase the brightness and that's all it's used for. And here we have three buttons to control what setting do we want to use. So for instance, if I want to use, as I mentioned, half side, I press this middle button once. Now I'm using only half of, of LEDs on one side. If I, for some reason, want to use the other side, I use it like that. And remember I mentioned you can mount it on the lens, whichever orientation you want. So for instance, if I mount it like that, I can have full left or right, or I can mount it like this and I can have the one below above or full once again. So that's, that's great feature and it's good to have on it as well as obviously intensity control. Now, another feature that it does have is obviously the flash. So, if I press it like that, that's ready for the flash fire of your camera or of your some sort of a remote trigger. And basically it would flash like so. So that's that. Or you can have a continuous light. Now, one caveat of the light is the way it's constructed. If I'm going to put it on this unit right here, which mounts on the top of the camera, 
it's great and you can use it as a on camera flash basically on your hot shoe so above the camera so say your lens would be around here and this would be lighting up which is fine because it'd be a little bit offset compared to the lens however when i use only half of it look what happens it's a little bit offset it's not on the top it's not on the bottom it's not on the left and it's not on the right now obviously i can rotate it but be because i only have four pegs here i can either have it like this or the on the other side so you can't really have it um if that makes any sense you can't have it like you would have it on the lens so for instance if i put it on the lens i can leave it like so i can rotate it like that or like that i can control which way i want that half ring to be but once you mount it above the camera you don't have um, that control and that's fine for me that's that's perfectly fine because i wouldn't use this half ring feature and i don't know if many of you would anyway um just something to keep in mind so that's that now why don't i kill the ambient light from outside and show you what does it look like when i put it on my camera so and i'm back notice the way i left my monitor on just for you to have a reference point in the room and just to go back to this thing i'm going to switch it to maximum brightness and i'm going to switch it back on so as you see bright enough but not too bright so you can use it as your main light i'm going to mount this unit on the top of the camera now and there we go and that's at maximum brightness so looks like uh I'm using some sort of on-camera light, like literally like a flashlight. And as you can see, I have a, another light here. So I'm just showing you random objects off my desk. You can see well, especially if I'm showing you from not too far away, but it's not enough light to use it for the video. So if you want to use this light just for your video itself, and you know, you're going to think that it's going to fill um, the space of, two square meters or something like that it's not going to do it it's not enough light for that but it's enough to shed some light on your on your subject i suppose if you're filming or even if you're taking the photos now one thing to consider is because this light is very bright i'm going to show you that again directly to the camera so as you see because this light is quite bright when you're taking a picture of subjects, if you want to take a picture of, I don't know, somebody and use this as a flashlight or as a video light, it's a bit too much and I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's like firing flash directly in somebody's face. If you're using off the side, so I'm just gonna once again take it off. If you're using it on the side like this, just to give somebody some light or maybe you, you want to, use it from the back of somebody or something like that that's fine but if you want to use it directly into somebody's face and take a picture and imagine that the result is going to be great uh, the results will be okay but your subject is going to be blinded so keep that in mind because it's led it's very bright and it's just uncomfortable but just to shed a little bit of light on your video i think it's a nice tool and you have to also remember that um the main advertising point of uh, something like that is CRI 95 plus. What that means is a, it's a color rendition index and it's 95 plus, which is going to be pretty accurate to the natural light. And it's not going to give you these greenish bluish skin tones or whatever. As you see, direct sunlight is coming in and it doesn't give any, well, too much tint at all, like to my skin or, or anywhere around. So that's that. That's the video light from Aperture. I love it. Um, there are some few quirks that you need to be aware of, but at the same time, it's a great light. And as I mentioned, if, if you don't have a um, camera lens that would fit one of these adapters that are already included, go on eBay and look for a step-up adapter. So for instance, this is 49. If you have a smaller lens, look at 46A to 49 step-up adapter. You're going to find it on eBay, no problem at all. Get it, enjoy this light and make some great video pictures. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.